Right, hey folks, welcome back. So I hope you all enjoyed the pen video which I posted last week. Now, so I thought I'd kick off by mentioning my DT project, which I suppose I had a little whinge about in my last video blog. I am pleased to say that I did finally get all the building involved in that rabbit hutch done in the end, and I was able to complete all the folder work and hand that in on time, and I actually handed that in back on Tuesday. So thankfully that's all out of the way now, and it's just time to move on with all the exams that are coming up. The first one is in about a month's time. And finally on the same note, if you haven't already seen the pictures of that finished project, I did post some over on Facebook and I'll post a little link for that in the description. It's not a project I'm massively proud of but if you are interested you can take a look at it over there. Now I thought I'd show you a little souvenir from when I was actually making my tech project and it is, it is this extraordinarily long piece of Swarf. Now I was actually drilling out some nylon bar which I needed for my project and as I was drilling it this piece of swarf just kept coming and coming and coming and just because this is the sort of person I am I did of course keep this extraordinarily long piece of swarf as a souvenir of all of the graft which I did to make my project. Right, there we go, just something which I got a kick out of at the time and a lot of the other guys in tech at the time did as well, so there we go. I probably, just because it's the sort of guy I am, I'll probably hang this on the workshop wall for prosperity. Now on a completely unrelated topic, something entirely unrelated to woodwork, I thought I'd quickly mention something which I did a couple of weeks ago, and that was partake in a business studies competition. Now if you are paying attention, you will know that I do business studies as one of four A-levels, and recently I was asked by my teacher to participate in a regional business studies competition and I and I did I went there there was about there was two teams of six of us so a, a couple of fellow students went went down to Southampton with me and we we did we <laughs> we were involved in a business studies competition we had to read through a load of information loads of sort of case studies information and you had to sort of make a rec recommendation for the this particular business so it was it was quite intense and believe it or not um, farm to sixth form is the college I go to, two teams, we took first and second, although sadly I, uh, the team I was on took second place, but that's still a pretty reasonable result for our college, and I still got to hold a little tiny trophy, so uh, there we go, and I will post some pictures over on Facebook, you can see me in a suit I believe, so if you are interested in that, head over to, I'll post it again, I'll post a link in the description for it, and you can see me wearing a nice dapper suit. <laughs> so I thought I'd quickly show you a recent purchase which I made and it is this Draper fixed base router. Now I thought any of you guys in the UK you will of course know that it is actually quite difficult to get a hold of these uh, fixed based routers and uh, well you can certainly get them you can buy the Bosch one I think there's a DeWalt one but there's no real sort of low budget ones but I did come across this Draper fixed base router now by no means was it cheap it was about £120 so in terms of routers and other routers you can buy it's probably in the same ballpark really I know you can get some really cheap routers and one of which I did buy when I started uh, started doing woodwork but they, they really aren't much good for anything and believe it or not although this was only a sort of a budget price router and as far as I can tell it is a little it's pretty plasticky but I think this is actually much nicer than the router which I use at the moment and as I say it was only £120. Now the real reason which I bought this router is, is certainly not really because I needed a new router, the one I've got at the moment although is not particularly nice, it does the job and this one certainly isn't a premium router it, although it does seem to be actually reasonably well built as I've already kind of said it came with this sort of also this plunge base so I'll be interested to see how it actually performs at some point now as I said the real reason which I bought this is really so that I can attach this to the 
the version 2 of the router lathe duplicator which I'm building at the moment and I really I wanted to do a proper job of that so I've bought something with a circular body a fixed diameter so that I can properly mount it to the duplicator which I'm building and as I say this was about 120 pounds so if you are looking around for something you can find a reasonable deal for a fixed base bat router in the UK so moving on I thought I would quickly mention um, some stuff to do with the workshop now a few months ago I was sent a couple of emails by a chap called Mac McCarson um, so and he did he had a couple of thoughts about uh, ways w which I could improve my workshop I suppose now I have a lot of plans for what I actually hope to achieve during the summer after all of my exams uh, some of them are workshop based projects which should be quite interesting and some of them are a little bit different and needless to say that the list is t much much longer than anything that I could possibly achieve over the summer but I do hope of course to get through quite a few projects during that time now some of those projects may it may transpire that I need to have a permanent spot for them in the workshop once I finish building them and whether that means I need to rearrange some stuff uh, we'll have to wait and see but once again I am grateful to Mac McCarson for sending me some of his ideas and uh, I, I appreciate the, the thoughts right so I believe that's all I've got for you this time take care everybody I'll see you next time goodbye